Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to just talk about something that I heard the other night on television, seriously, and it blew my mind. And I just like to share things like this with others, especially people that have watched any of my other videos on my channel because I've talked about coming out, I've talked about being a late bloomer, I've talked about, you know, sexual identity and things like that that I've, you know, faced and tried to figure out on my own and I think that this thing that I heard could help you. If I can help one person, my job is done. So, I was watching one of my favorite shows, Queer Eye, on Netflix and I've referenced this show in the past and obviously most of you have probably heard it or seen it and if you haven't watched it, it's the reboot from the old one and the old one I used to watch when I was a kid. So I'm watching the newer one now and I definitely like to binge when the season comes out and just watch a whole bunch. And Jeremy wasn't home last night so I just sat and I watched like the first four episodes and I mean, these guys make me cry every episode. Jonathan Van Ness is the most beautiful human being I've ever come across in my entire life. Just the soul that they have is incredible. I was watching the show and Karamo, is that how you say it by the way? If anyone can correct me, Karamo, Karamo, Karamo. So he was talking to Angel who is a trans woman who came out recently to her girlfriend and her family and it reminded me a lot of previous relationships that I've had in my life and also reminded me of when I came out to my friends and family and I remember how scary that was for me and how terrified I was of being rejected. I made a whole video about that a few, quite a few years ago now um, on my channel and I also did a follow-up video about some more revelations that I made <laughs> not like a, a year or two ago. And this just is something that I wish someone would have told me when I was going through that at the time. So Karamo said to Angel that he doesn't like to use the term coming out when describing the experience of coming out. He says that he likes to think of it as letting in, which is wow. So the whole idea is that when we say we're coming out to people, it puts us in a place of vulnerability because we're kind of sharing information with the concept, you know, that we're coming out and that out of the closet or whatever and we're opening this door and that the person we're sharing it with has the option to close the door on us and put us back in the closet. And you hear those kinds of metaphors when people talk about being afraid to come out of the closet or being put back in the closet or staying in the closet. And words are very powerful and language is very powerful and how we use words, it, it, it attaches meaning to things, it attaches a vision or it attaches just emotions and a thought and a concept to things without us maybe even realizing it. And what he was saying about letting in is that instead of coming out, it's more of the concept, which I absolutely agree with, that we are always a work in progress. All human beings, doesn't matter who you are. Life, the purpose, the journey of life is the process of developing, growing, evolving into your most authentic self. When you're a child, when you're a teenager, when you're a young adult, all of these processes, you were constantly were trying to figure out who we are. And trust me, I'm 36 years old. I'm still in that process. And I know 60 year olds and 70 year olds that are in the process. Like it continues throughout your entire life. You never stop exploring who you are and just finding that true authentic being that you are. And the idea that you're letting people in is that as you continue on this journey of self-expression and you're finding your authenticity and being true to yourself and living true to yourself, finding your alignment in your life and really knowing who you are, you're just continually letting people in and let them have the opportunity to see you and know you as you continue on this journey. And for me, this is just a hit home so hard because in my own life, I, I do feel like it took me all of these years and all of these experiences and all these relationships for me to really have a better understanding of myself. And 
if you knew someone in high school and then you met them now, for sure you're gonna have a lot of information to share with them about who you are now compared to who you were then. We are always changing and even like for me, I have, for example, family members that I haven't seen for stretches of years and they don't know how I am in my everyday to day life and maybe they just have memories of me from when I was younger or when I was a kid and when I was a teenager or a young adult and in their minds that's who I am but that's not who I am because in all the years that we haven't seen each other, I've gone through so many different experiences and changed. So you have to keep on letting people know who you are now, where you are now, like where you're going. And I love the idea that when you share this information about yourself, when you're coming out, you're actually just letting people in to see the newer evolved, you know, more authentic you. You're just showing them you you're let you're shining the light in on you and letting them see you for you and rather than them having some sort of power in that situation of them rejecting you you have the power to decide if you want them in your life anymore it's just so much more empowering to feel like i'm going to tell this person something about myself that is very personal and very real and very authentic and if they do not want to see that or accept that or understand that you know then they don't have to continue on this journey with me and I totally understand how hard that would be for family and friends and stuff like I said I went through that experience but I do like this way of thinking in terms of sharing that information when I shared that I was in a relationship with a woman I was really terrified of being judged of being you know disappointing my family about the ideas that they had for what they wanted for me versus what I wanted and having this idea that I'm the one who knows what I want I'm the one who knows who I am and I'm sharing this with them and it's not my responsibility whether or not they get on board or whether or not they can see this as me and that it's their responsibility and it's their opportunity. I also liked in this episode that when we share information about who we are that may be not that may be unexpected to people that feel like they know us, we have to also give those people time to process the information because as long as it's taken me to figure out who I am and what this means and where am I going, I have to allow my family and friends the grace to also process it on their end as long as they're being respectful and kind and maybe they just need to take a moment and maybe we don't communicate for a while and we just have a break i feel like that's fair and that's kind of what happened with my own family we just there was still open lines of communication but i pulled back a little bit and we all just kind of processed but at the end of the day I was very lucky. My family was always very accepting and they always just said as long as I was happy, that's all that mattered. And in this episode, that was what the family said as well for Angel. As long as she was happy and you could tell how happy she was, then they would be happy. Overall, I just really believe that language is really powerful and how we use it can really impact, you know, the way we feel about what's going on. And I just really loved that idea of rather than coming out, you're letting in, you're sharing something about yourself because you love that person, because you want them to see you, you want them to know you, you want to be close to them, you want to have that trust in that relationship. And so that you're, it's a beautiful gesture to share who you are with someone and you're giving them the gift of getting to see you for you. And rather than it be anything other than that of like, that you're sharing something that could be judged or that could affect someone else in a negative way. Because it's at the end of the day, it's not. It's about you and your life and you having to live true to yourself. And I just have so much compassion and love and empathy for everybody that has ever had to go through this experience or is going through this experience or will go through this experience. And... I just wanted to share this to maybe help in any kind of way, whether you're someone who receives this information about a loved one and have a better understanding of what's happening. When someone comes out to you, they it's because they love you and it means something to them to be able to share that with you. And they care about having a relationship with you. So it's 
a beautiful thing for someone to do and I just wish <laughs> that everybody who was on the other side of that could see that and just respond to it with love and I hope that in the world we live in now, which is such a more beautiful world than the world when I was even a teenager, continues in this direction. And yeah, that's all I wanted to say for this week. Love you guys, all of you out there. Everybody's beautiful. Everybody should live their true, authentic life. And love is at the root of all of it. We all just want to love and be loved and give love and receive love and that's what every human being wants and it's truly a beautiful thing so if you want to cry <laughs> i recommend watching queer eye i cried through every single episode and i just love that show so much and it has a really beautiful message every single episode somebody on that show says something that i seriously want to write down often i will and i will journal about it later or meditate about it later because the entire cast of that show um, is all people that have been through very real experiences and really you can tell want to help others and it's just such a wonderful, ugh, loving, ugh, best, ugh, it's such a good feeling. I love that show so much. Anyway, that's all for now. I just wanted to share that and I hope it helps someone out there and that's pretty much it. So just a little update, I guess, as well. We're still moving and have started packing and that's happening, which is exciting. And we'll, I will give you an update about that probably in the next video, because this is like, I've been thinking about packing a lot. I've been looking in room to room. We have an entire, our entire spare room right now. is just a box room. We've got people that have donated to us like Rubbermaid bins to borrow to pack and we've been collecting boxes from the grocery stores and stuff like that So we just have an entire box room and I just keep like looking at like the bathroom in the kitchen And I just planning in my mind how I'm gonna pack but I haven't we haven't physically really started packing yet But yeah, it's such a whole thing. So Keep you posted on that. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you guys next week. Bye